it's already incredibly festive. Okay, so I went Christmas. for a Jen Bradford. Come along, guys. Come along. And the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Hello everybody, good morning, how you doing? I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because today I'm in Bath. I'm with Zara and Chloe. Um, last time I vlogged here was, we were on seeing this in the car, it was September 30th. Yeah. No. No, it was, 29th. It was the, no, because we woke up here on the 1st of September, because remember in the morning I was like, no, it wasn't the 1st of September, but no, Zara's birthday was, I mean, oh no, 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 you're right. It, right, it was, right, it was, it was. We sang the f September song in we the did. morning. We did, we did. So basically, we're in Bath, we drove here yesterday, so today is Saturday, it's, uh, November 30th, but obviously this is going to go live in December. It'll be in December the 1st. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, oh god, it's gone very dark. Cue the Vlogmas intro. The Bath Christmas markets have landed in Bath already and it's amazing, so it's going to be a very festive vlog. Grab a mulled wine and enjoy. Cue the bath festivities. It's already incredibly festive here. I am feeling the festivities. I've already said on the agenda all I would like is a German bratwurst and a mulled wine. The rest I don't care about for now. Sausage. Little sausage. But yeah, I'm going to show you around. Best time in Bath. I got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the crisp. We're having a look around the Christmas markets and the really different the ones in London. I was saying that the ones in London kind of the same every year, but these are so cool. Amazing. First mince pie of the season. Lovely jubbly. Enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree. I've got my mince pie and my mold wine. Lovely. Oh, yeah. It smells so good. Okay, so it's 10 to midday. We've got ourselves a large mold wine. And I encourage everyone to get a shot of the Serrano in it. Chin chin. <laughs> Mm. I love this. Zara's nervous. I know, never I had just, wine before. I just can't do De Serrano. Like, it's a serious issue. You can. Sip away. It's going to be really hot. No, no, it's fine. It's actually really nice. Nice. Isn't it delicious? Oh, I love it! There we go. <laughs> it's it's going to be dangerous, though, because, like, you can't taste the alcohol. This is exactly why I get pleasantly pickled I on I treat more it wine. as, like, hot chocolate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's winter hot chocolate, but with, with Moyo BB. Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold So we're now going into the indoor Christmas markets They just met Santa Claus <laughs> In we go to the indoor market with you You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go I got you I've just found a little coffee store and it's called Gillard's Freshly Roasted Coffees and Teas and I'm going to get Anne and Dave some coffee for Christmas but Anne don't watch this because it's coming your way. <laughs> and this is the freshly ground coffee. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I have stopped running. There is no way trying. You better lose and there's been an emergency pit stop in Primark because it's that cold. Zara's had to invest in a new scarf and gloves, and Claude's currently bought a nice scarf as well, lovely pink colour. I, however, is very sensible because I'm well travelled. I've got myself a scarf and a hat already. How much do you hate me? <laughs> it's cold. It's very, very, very busy in Bath today. Let me show you how. Oh, <laughs> tackling the crowds. Come along, guys, come along. This is currently chaos. Look how crazy this is. One tip I would give to anyone out there who drinks mulled wine. Empty your bladder before you do it, as we're going to kindly find out. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it? Luke, <laughs> I don't want to be papped right now. <laughs> Drinking up wine by the fire. 
Alba is just absolutely beautiful. I say this every single time, and every single time, I just adore it. We're on the hunt for a bit of lunch. It's um, half past one. Half past one? Yeah, half past one. So, um, oh my god, there's a reindeer. So yeah, we're gonna try and find a little, little lunch bite, and then um, head towards, I actually don't know where we're going. I think we're going to go towards the ice skating rink a bit later on. But um, yeah. It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? Okay, so I went for a German breakfast with ketchup, mustard and onions and I'm just going to do it. You enjoying it, love? It's gonna get involved. So I just popped into a little stall that was called Four Legged Fancies. Um, I haven't actually announced yet, but I imagine I will have. We're actually getting a new dog at home, um, so these are going to be for her. I'll show you them once we're back at the flat. So this is how many mulled wines we've had. One, two, three, four, five, six, nearly six. Nearly six mulled wines. And that was in this set. How many mulled wines have we had when we about about? We've got one this long, so that's seven, eight, nine. And then we had one before. And then um, we've had 12 mulled wines so far. And it's, no, we haven't. We've had. Yes, we have. Collectively, 12 mulled wines. That's four each. It's cheap and like a sausage. And a sausage. <laughs> I'm genuinely obsessed with Bath, honestly. So Zara just spotted, well I spotted it originally, I'm gonna say that now, I have a dog tendency, I'm like, dog! Um, Zara just spotted a Cocker Spaniel, it was a working Cocker Spaniel, and um, I think it's just confirmed that we really do want a dog. I haven't actually put it's this in a- It's not wanted, we, like, we, we need, need one. one. <laughs> we are going to get one. Yes. Name suggestions, welcome. We I haven't actually addressed what happened with my little pup. Um, I imagine I'm gonna vlog when I go home, but my little pup, Sadly did pass, um, but mum is in the process of actually getting a new dog. Um, today is, as I said, November 30th, and this is the day that they get a new puppy. So I um, guess when this vlog goes live, I'm going to have a new puppy at home in Durham. But me and Zara really do want one. So um, yeah, leave some, leave some suggestions down below in the comments about what dogs we should get, but I think it's very much looking like a cocker, isn't it? We do. That was the first dog we had in mind. It was. Then we like flipped to a cockapoo, and now like we do keep reverting back. It's Christmas. Outside. Just spotted this little yeah, same this little homeware store. Looks amazing. This little table setup is so nice. And look at this tree. Till it gets dark though. Oh, okay. So, Claus brought us to Bath on Ice, which looks very exciting, just through here. I think the ice rink's just through. Wonderful! What? Oh my god, I already am getting the fear. So, it turns out that the um, ice rink is fully booked, so we're gonna wait until um, Chloe. So, we're gonna wait until Chloe's boyfriend arrives and we're gonna be doing the nighttime golf. Uh, we spoke to the guy and he basically says you just arrive and do it. So, we're sat in the lodge. Got a lot of little beers and drinks going on. The girls are on Prosecco and I've gone for a little beer. And we're sat watching the ice rink. So we are ending our very festive day. We got a box of celebrations, Doritos, chips and dip. Yeah, and we're ending. Show us how we transport ourselves home. Right, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Good morning guys, good morning, good morning. So it's our second day in Bath, and it's our last day in Bath. Um, today is Sunday. We've came to Bath really, really early just to try and beat the crowds. The actual shops don't open until 11, so we've got a bit of time. But um, we just grabbed ourselves a little coffee. I'm just gonna have a little mooch around before things get incredibly busy. Yesterday was chaos. Every shopkeeper and person we spoke to said yesterday was the busiest it's ever been in Bath, so. Of course we came like actually shop today. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot more calmer. Well, that is now. Just spotted these little cactuses with snowmen on. Are they snowmen? They look like bearded men. I think they're meant to be Father Christmases. Oh, oh but really look, cute. it's a whole festive shop. It's a whole festive shop. Going? Let's go in. Mum got one of these last year in Stockholm. I think we've just entered Christmas heaven. This stall literally smells incredible. I'm obsessed. Literally so much more quiet than yesterday. It's mad. Same. So we're going to be doing a wreath. Um, that's actually one video that I haven't planned for the festive period, but I found one really cheaply and it's a real wreath in Sainsbury's. It's undecorated. So um, we're going to grab some bits and bobs today and then we'll be doing that in a video to come. Quite excited. 
We've just nipped into Tiger and got some Christmas wrapping and decoration essentials. Making a start on it already. Zara's just spotted this clock in this little window. I quite like that mirror as well there, that's lovely. I thought that was £10. Was it? Oh my god, should we get it? <laughs> it's not bad though, 110 but this clock is amazing, but we just don't really have the room for it. It's called French Grey, we're going to have a look inside and see what's going on. Sprout sponges, some sprout lights, got loads of little decorations going on. I do. It's kind of like 1920s style. I do like the dumpy Santa. So we're split decision between a dumpy Santa as our obligatory bath gift or this really nice, like it's like a Jaguar leopard. I think this one's more classy but I think this is hilarious. I think this is red and it'll stand out on the tree. Yeah, let's go for dumpy Santa. I spy a DIY that Mr. Carrington has well and truly smashed. Little pom pom wreath. Guys, these brownies and cakes look amazing. Listening. Oh. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. So I've just spotted these candelabras and they're like 11 95 which is so good. They've got larger ones too, but with those candles installed. Okay, that's not even bad though to be fair. An absolute essential. Oh, I can't even pull them out. I was trying to shop for shoes, but I've just spotted these. Wonderful. We're having a Diet Coke break outside of Poundland. We've well and truly, so if you can see, we've got bags and bag a lot. We're going to head to Waitrose, get some food, and then we are going straight back on the car. Where are we going to Waitrose? Getting some food, going back back in the car, um, and then we are going to be driving home back to London. We're going to get to London about 5, 5.30, so I'll catch you guys when I'm back. I'm going to do some Christmas wrapping. Excellent. Okay, so we're back in the car. And we've got one, two, three, there's two bugs in there, four, five, six, seven Christmas shopping bags. I think that's a bad start. And then I'm so out of breath. <laughs> so I was just popped back in the flat to pack up her suitcase. I'm gonna close up the car and head back to London. Just like the ones I used to know. Zara. Cake. May your days be merry and bright. And may all your Christmases and Bath Christmases be wise. Thanking you. You're so wise. Such a charm. Got you up in my arm. There's nobody at the door. You said I wish this Okay, we're back in London And this is the current state, we've just got parcels Parcels, things that I didn't deal with before we went away and more parcels Everything's just a bit of a mess really I've already told Zara not to be disappointed with the red bank calendar But I know she's going to be disappointed with the No, she's never disappointed because she's always happy ah! <laughs> Come on in I know you're going to be disappointed You're going to be like, what well, the I'm not gonna why has he bought me that? Alright Sit down so when we're filming this, it's December 1st, but obviously. Just really happy right, would you like yours Christmas. first? It's really terrible, and I'm honestly sorry. Where did you get it? I'm not gonna find out. If I can get it out of the bag. Oh, it's a bit battered up. Oh my god, no, scented candles, love this. How do I open it? Oh, this is lovely. This is the base, pull this out. Careful, right, there we go. careful, just put that back together. So you've got to open your first calendar door. Okay. Let me just, I thought it'd be something can different. Can I open number one? I think they're just tea lights. Where's number, number one? one? Oh, no, They look. start with the biggest. Starts with oh. a jar. Oh, that's clever. This is such a lovely idea. And then you burn 24 set tea lights every night. A day. Do you oh, like I it? Love Do you actually that. like Thank it? You're you. very welcome. That's very Have you welcome. Seen yours? You just looked. No, where is oh, it? Okay, behind my back. Okay, okay. that's really cute. Mine's yours is this one. Mine's probably very disappointing. That's really rude. No, I mean like as in comparison oh. to this. <laughs> Open. Oh. It's chocolate. Oh. My favourite chocolate of all time ever. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. This Turn is it literally open, my favourite thing. Oh my Christ. <gasps> this is going to be, this is, this is Lynn. This is going to be Christmas day, isn't it? I'm going to have to take this Probably, home with me. Probably, yeah. Thank you. So I get to open number one now. Oh, number yeah. one's a deer. Oh, oh lovely stuff. Oh. oh, I love it. I'm kind of, all right, I will get you a chocolate no, one. No, I don't want a chocolate one. It's fine. I'm going to eat this now. I've got a chocolate reindeer. So cute. Mm. I know I said I was gonna film some wrapping, but I think I might wait for that for another video because we need to deal with all this. Do you know anything else you'd like to say? Stay happy! It's Christmas, guys! Mm. 
Yes. I'm going to address it now. Zara got a hate comment. Two. Um, two hate comments saying that she didn't smile enough and that she wasn't festive enough. I'm really enough. negative. So um, she's now on a mission to prove everyone wrong. So on that note, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys very soon. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I and we'll see you very soon. It with